Okay, hi everyone, this is Ninetales. And this is Shy. And uh, we're commentating on the winner's semifinals doubles Smash 4 match between Brown Sugar Times 2 and the and Super, Super Food and Mario Bros. are supreme, uh, supreme champs right now. Yeah, they're probably the best record most recently of our doubles uh, players, and they've struck the battlefield for game one. Interesting. Um, unlike you, I feel like it's been hard to like Battlefield as much as we know. Yeah, and obviously Brobear likes it with uh, Zero Suit, so there's no reason why I would have gone stronger against it. I would have struck to Team Z, honestly. I'd rather go there. Town and City was the last one other than Battlefield. It was between those two at the end. I bet you Brobear and them were the last ones to strike then. Perhaps. I wasn't really paying attention. But we're getting into this game. Alright. Um, We've got the Pink Princesses. Interesting that that wasn't their name. Brian Sugar Dance 2. I've never seen Sayo play Peach that much, but it's cool that he's doing it for this uh, thematic team. Um, looks like they're already really far down. Rub, bro, uh, <laughs> I can actually. Okay. Well, Bro Bear just totally got destroyed. By Russell? Uh, yeah, he just got like pulled all the way off stage by like both of them at the same time. Like they both contributed right. to it. Um, it was. One thing I noticed about this match is it very quickly turned into a lot of like juggling, but it was like back and forth juggling. Like everyone was off the ground. It was weird. So um, it's interesting that uh, the uh, I, 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 I'm not talking about today. Interesting that Ellis Sayo was going uh, Peach. Peach. Yeah. That's what I was saying. I haven't seen him go Peach very much, but I think he's doing it for the thematicness of this team, and yeah. it's working pretty well. That was oh. good patient on Ruben's part, by the way. Yeah. He got caped and he just stood there. Oh, but gets up smashed. Yep. Churro picking that up. Oh, uh, Bear and Churro definitely having a little bit of guy. Rosalina experience. I don't know that they have a whole lot of Peach experience, though. Yeah, Peach is a very interesting character. Well, I mean, the thing is, Peach is not a character that any of our regulars Ruben play Ruben killing his own partner there. Yep. That, was, a, that was not a, not a place to smash at that so moment. So Churro still has his first stock. Ooh, power shield by Peach. Lots the fireball back. Uh, yeah, he does. Churro's doing real good. Churro's staying alive. just really good in general. It also sucks that uh, Robert got his box taken super fast, but they kind of brought it back pretty fast. Yep. Even after that. And so, as I was saying earlier, both both Churro and Robert have a lot of experience with Rosalina, by playing as Rosalina. Right, but we don't have a regular Peach here, so that's the character that... It's going to be most troublesome, I think. I could them. see, yeah. I could see being troublesome. I was playing uh, Ellie Sayo in a few friendly zone. His Peach seems actually pretty well uh, practiced. Ruben picked up the down smash on uh, Churro's board right there, though, so... Uh, Ruben uh, finally loses his first stock there. So, um... Churro at 0% still, again, on the start. Oh, back here is his own teammate. I don't think he meant to do that. I thought he thought... Bet you he thought it was the other team. Ruben getting... A really good forward smash, but uh, they didn't actually amount to a KO in the end. Yeah. I don't know, it seems like they aren't doing a lot of team stuff, they're just kind of like playing singles against each one of them. Uh, yeah, that's how teams, that's what teams becomes a lot of time. Uh, Ruben using Luma to protect himself, but picks up a hit on Seiya. Yeah, that was good on his part. His back throw, and and Brobear gets the boost Why kick. gonna kill there, but yeah, Peach is dead now. So Peach now on her last stock. Gets oh, the down Luma smash. Catches Churro. Gets down smashed after that. Yep. Yeah. KO. That was actually really cool to see. Ooh. Robert accidentally hitting Churro, trying to save him from Peach. From Seo. Ooh, gets up smash, and now they have up. Uh, One Churro's stock, still but Churro's still yeah. holding on to his second. So. Yes. Green team on a little bit of a stock lead. Percents are even on everyone else. Yeah. Slight, slight advantage green team. In spite of uh, Brobear's really early gimp death. Yeah. I want a lot of turn up for Peach right there, and I don't know if that's going to be the best thing, but it's been worth it. She hasn't been getting punished for it for too much, so... It's probably easier to get a, not get punished for in doubles when you got someone covering your back. A lot of good down smashes coming from Peach here. Yeah, down smash is so long it covers things like rolls and spot dodge really well. A lot of defensive options. Oh. Good job to protect his teammate from getting any more combo. Good spot dodge to up tilt by Bro Bear. That was, he, ooh, good down smash to cover the ledge. But not quite gonna kill yet. Wow. Yeah, true, hanging on. He's he's definitely the stock take of this game, this particular match. Definitely. 
So Rosalina is at 98%, which for a, uh, I think, uh, who's getting hit up this point? Yep. There you go. Honestly, a lot of things can kill. Rosalina is pretty light. That is true. You just have to get past Lima to do it. Um, I feel like, there we go. That's what I was about to say. I feel like the team, if they have a good chance of winning this, they would need to take that stock. And then... Kuro gets the up smash, and now it's a 2v1. I've never actually seen Sale do a 2v1 before, so this will be the first time. It'll be interesting. But... And he's not playing one of the characters I would have considered his main what? before today. Oh, we're getting the grab release. Ooh, up smash is both people, though. Eh. Being from much or up it doesn't really matter. Yep. And Peach can't, um, Peach can't follow up on any of her kills like she's been Yeah, doing. because of everything. Yeah, because someone comes in and punishes. Oh, ooh, good booty bump. Yeah, that was a really good uh, mix-up there. Definitely got Robert off guard. Especially since it's safe on shield, you can immediately do something after. Yeah, actually, I mean, it's not when there's a doubles person behind you, but, but he still got away with it that time. Nice! They covered both the options there. Robert went forward with the down smash. Sayo opted to do warp, and Chiro was waiting right there. He was like, no, I got this option covered. Bam! What did you do? smash cover John, too. Uh, yeah, what if he, if he Robert released it correctly? I feel like he, uh... Maybe not fall down and jump away, but it would have covered a straight regular go. I feel like Sayo could have done, like, up the off, like, drop down, up the and hang away. Yeah, drop down, drop down something would have been his only really safe option in that scenario, because they were just covering everything else. They were covering the other two options. I think he committed right as soon. Yeah, with three. They were covering standard get up, yeah, standard attack get up. up. Yeah, they were covering everything. Because the thing is, if you attack get up the SS and shield, that's not big. Yeah. And at that point, you're not going to be able to attack get up down smash. Yeah. Well, he wouldn't have hit ZSS and shield. He would have been attack get up, and he would have paralyzed, and then Shiro would have been able to kill him. Yeah. So, Shiro and Robert taking that one. Uh, Robert, even getting the early stops through the corner bar. Yeah, it, uh, wasn't, it wasn't convincing, but it was, like, obviously leaning towards the food narrative that game. Yeah, very much so. Especially since Shiro, like, yeah, Shiro living for so long, it is actually good for them. So, and taking immediately taking those wins stock in the next one. So uh, we're gonna have to see what they uh, counterpick for game two. Oh, sorry, they're going right back to battlefield. I missed that. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I feel like they feel comfortable with the stage. Yeah, everyone feels comfortable with it, I guess. Ruben does apparently really like it. Yeah. Oh, Mario getting a little getting a little tossed around between his two ladies there. Yeah. I think, yeah, Ruben went to go go for a follow-up off the down throw and didn't get anything from it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, good up -feet. Good patience on uh, Ellie Sayo's part, though, yes. too. If he would have done it sooner, he would have probably died in the game. Well, maybe, because Umbrella is not that bad of a recovery, to be honest. We got a weird, interesting stalemate of projectiles yeah. going on here. Over, like, the platform. It was like Luma Jab, Turn Ups, Fireballs, and Tasers going back and forth. That, that was really interesting, like, exchange right there. So everybody's at pretty relatively lowish percent, except for Peach being at about 120, which is about kill percent. Uh, yeah, for sure. He just like, what was this? Oh, my oh, she broke the shield, Churro! And so, uh, Sayo's gonna easily pick up that kill, and he got it because there's a Mr. Saturn active. Oh, there was a Mr. Oh, there's a Mr. Saturn active? Oh my god. Yeah, but Robert was able to power shield it right there. But he still has it. Yep, it's still, the Mr. Saturn is still in hand. And, and the thing is, you can float cancel. Nair to hand. up air. That was really good. Peach Nared. It went right oh, into he dared off the uh, Mr. Saturn. It went right into Ruben's territory, and he was ready there to just convert it with an up air. Robert getting both those kills with a quick double up beat. Yep, the stocks are even very quickly thanks to a uh, really good boost kicks on Robert's part. Robert definitely the best boost kicker here today. I don't even feel uh, any uncertainty saying that. Like Robert just lands boost kick really well. So. It looks like they have a slight lead, but then again, Chiro is at like 61%. And Robert's at less. Ow! I killed you with style, at least. <laughs> at least I killed you and with doubles, style. In doubles, I don't feel like like percent leads are that big, unless you're like looking at both players at like 100, while other both players are like below 50, you know? Like, it changes really fast. It's really volatile in doubles. Oh, Peach gets buried, but escapes really fast with her little parasol there. Looking at the door. Just stopping the parasols out, which I feel like, I don't know if I agree with that option, parasoling out, because that's very punishable. Like, he might have just been, like, button, button, button mashing so hard, he just got whatever came out. That is true. Good down smash. 
It covers a lot of options, actually. Ooh, drops the turn up. Gets the forward smash oh. because of the turn up stopping him from actually getting yeah, any Churro did, off the update. Yeah, well, Churro didn't go for the ledge because of the turn up. He went for a regular standard get up and punished that with a frying pan or whatever it was, the yeah. forward smash. I don't know. It has multiple, so I'm not sure. Yeah. Good down smash and. No, it's yes, Churro's having trouble getting to the ground, but he makes it finally. So Peach is still alive right now, and so is Churro. Or Churro. Okay. Yep. Up oh. smash his partner. Trying to get him out of the ground, I guess. Ooh, good up tilt. Yep. Good up air, takes that's the stock. Strawberry loses his stock. Trying to edge guard Churro for a lot. Brown Sugar times two is the lead right now. Right, they have a huge lead right now because of Strawberry. Being at around or Churro being at around 100%. Just, here's another Mr. Is that enough? No. Okay. I thought that was yeah, Mr. Always a turn up. It looked like Mr. Yeah. Yep. TV, the screen. Churro taking a lot of damage really fast in this stock. Churro's struggling with these characters, I think. I don't think it's because we don't actually have a Peach here. Oh, Ruben up there is his partner. Yeah, Ruben up there is pretty good. It's cape, it's down air to work. Ooh, good jab, by the way. So there it is. Sorry, I'm gonna get off this off the commentary for just a moment to yell at Jaxus. Alright. Jaxus! Kaito kun? I'm gonna text them. Get the up smash. Churro is now out, and it is a 2v1 situation. Peach is still at two stocks. Yeah, this is not looking good for uh, Robear and It's gonna be Super very difficult to get through, like. Especially given that he is at 117 himself. And against Rosalina. His best and hope is to take Ooh, good downer and that's a stock of Ruben fast, but it doesn't even happen. Um, also, the issue with that was. Uh, oh, see all there. Oh. He's inside my mouth. I don't, I don't, think, that I don't think that works with oh, I don't care. <laughs> I feel like Robert might have had a really tough time just not actually playing uh, like a peach here. We have a few peaches, but like, it seems like Sayo has a little more practice. Right. The, the, the main guy we see who plays peach around here usually is Dongo. Dongo's actually a pretty strong player. But he doesn't just go peach, he goes puff a lot too. There's not a lot of peach matchup experience here. We're not going to blame it on that. We're not judging for them. Sayo and Ruben is super good there. Oh, yeah. Especially with the... Using that Mr. Saturn very well, too. Yep. Mr. Like, Saturn helped out a ton. Got that really good on Turo. Turo was struggling in general, though. I think what they were doing that match is dealing with Turo because of how long they lived the first match. Jaxus! He's not coming! That's what I feel about that, though. Like, they saw how Trail was living the last game, and they're like, okay, we need to handle you know, people threat, and Romeo is a threat still, but we need to do it with this one. Yep. Because he's staying alive too long. Yep. So, the scores are even up 1 1 now, and we're going to game 3. Yeah. So, I wonder where we're going for game 3. Dreamland? Dreamland, yep. The only other possibility was Miiverse. And seeing as how we went Battlefield twice, I don't think we'd see it. Battlefield is off the table, though, now that both players have won on it. Well, unless they agree to go back to it. Yeah. We're always the gentleman when we go back to the stage. Um, so this base, place is basically like Battlefield, but with some wind and smaller blast lines. Uh, well, those, if I remember correctly, the side blast zones are the same. The up blast zone oh is barely God. smaller. I know. It's and the platforms are lay out a little differently. They're higher, and they're also shorter than Battlefield. So uh, bottom ones are shorter. The game's starting off pretty even for both teams right now. I definitely feel like the team that goes up early in this, this set will be the one that will take it. Right. Because that's what it happened both games so far. It feels like getting the advantage really. Ooh, that that double, double boost kick! kick and he got it with the with the kills um, Peach yeah. super early. He got it with the uh, spot dodge. He, like spot dodge both what they were doing, and he was just like, okay, double boost kick time. That was really good on um, uh, guys part. Taking a very early lead and Peach already going down the stock. Ooh. Yeah. Keeps the turn up. Ruben does a very good job of juggling. People are uh, always struggle to get back onto the ground against them. His Luma Warp backfired a little, ended up hitting Peach a lot. Wow. So Brubear doing a very good job of building a lot of percent for Peach right now. Already at 81 on her second stock. Yep. Good up B. Stops. Yeah. 
stops him from getting death bashed by BSS. Yes. Oh, good dare by uh, Lunar Nair. Yep. Lunar Landing, Luna, Lunar Landing Nair. Good back oh, air and Robert that doesn't pick up the stock in the back air. Take it. But a piece in a weird way, step. and both of them missed the punish. But then, but then Chiro gets it on the on the roll. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, Seo was getting a kill on Robert. I think. With Ooh. That smash. Wow, that up air kill. That was great. I didn't know Peach up airs kill that good. It is. It's a very great kill. Her, a lot of her airs are really great kill moves. I just that kind of. It just doesn't feel like it. that. It would be that, but. Robert picks up the kill with the edge guard back here. So they're there. down three to four, which is kind of a huge deficit. But if not, we're not going to count them out yet because they can easily take a stock very quickly. Wait, with Rosalina I'm not sure what you're talking about. I think the stocks. Oh yeah, three to four. Okay. Yeah, because yep. Peach got taken very early. Yep. Last time because of the double boost game. It's not that big of a deficit. It's just a one stock deficit. All it takes is one good play. Yeah. They can still do this in a very yep. close set right now. Rosa does need a Alfonso to stop before he die. Ooh. Is that a fair? That landed on the SSS on the other side? They're both sitting and chilling on that side. Ooh, yep, get Churro up gets the up smash. That'll take. Ruben now also working with one stock, and we're looking at 4 to 2 in stock count. And Peach is at like 84% in her last stock. Yep, Seo's struggling a little this time around. I think they did exactly what um, uh, they did the first game. It's like we needed to say out. Yeah. Oop, good. Getting that first stock really did help, yeah. though. Ruben putting up a good edge guard effort, but Trio did manage to make it back. Oh, catches the turn up and drops it. Oh my goodness! Mario used that turn up against Peach really well. And Peach well. is dead. Wow, Mario. Good edge guard. That was Trio did. It wasn't just an edge guard. He like just grabbed her turnip out of the air and just z dropped it and so used it to get the kill. So he's down four one. This is gonna be very difficult to bring this back if he can. Yep, it's the actual reverse of what we had last game. Yeah, except that there's one more stock involved. Yeah, <laughs> on the winning team or the currently winning team. So Robo and Churro have a lot of experience in two v ones, and they do very well with them. So I, I, I really have doubt that. There's the back air from Robo picking it up. Good game to both teams. The Super Fruit Nari Bros are going to take it 2-1. I was going to say, though, is the only reason I don't feel like they had a huge show is because how the Super Fruit Nari Bros win.